a lot of weird shit, personally. What about Chantel? Chantel is like my homie. You feel me? It's always been love there. It's never been anything more. So I know we're both black and we're on the same show, so we should be together, right? Like, you no, know, I'm usually joking about everything I say on here about 90% of the time. Just keep that. Sometimes when my mom raps, she accidentally said the N word. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I all right, boom, let's talk about this video. Let's talk about it. And in a second, we're gonna play it again. And I obviously have my opinions on some of the things that he says here. And it's crazy because, you know, with Jamal, he's somebody that says a whole lot of things. And interesting enough, some of the things that need a backtrack, and that has always been quite suspicious, if you know what I mean. And it's quite crazy because he did say on a previous video that I made of him on a live stream that he's the kind of person that when he does pillow talk and all them kind of things he just says exactly what he's thinking straight off the bat so if it's funny people then it's funny if it's not it's not but he generally says what he's thinking so it's quite interesting to say that and then to say that when he says certain things he's just simply joking 90 percent of the time i mean let's be real that is very very contradictory if you ask me personally but before we get into the video again please please start off by hitting the like button okay that also that will always help us grow within youtube algorithm but more so mostly importantly subscribe to the channel i know there's a lot of people that come here watch the video but don't subscribe subscribe let's get to that 50k hopefully by the end of this month okay end of february yeah but with that being said though let's get into this one a lot of weird shit personally what about Chantel? Chantel is like my homie. You feel me? It's always been love there. It's never been anything more. So I know we're both black and we're on the same show, so we should be together, right? I find it interesting. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I know exactly where he's coming from. I know exactly what he's saying because this is a common thing sometimes. People will try and link you with somebody that is the same race as you. And, you know, it can definitely be seen as, you know, very stereotypical or seen as a certain type of way you know what i mean so i feel what he's trying to say here but did he really have to jump to the conclusion of saying that this is why people are saying it and i say that only because there are people who are out here who are accusing for being gay but also at the same time they're also now i guess try and say hey what about you and chantel so i can understand why he would want to be defensive but at the same time it's not like people just always accuse him or try and implement with somebody else just for the sake of it people have opinions based on something if that makes any sense but hey i'll leave that one down to you guys in terms of how you want to obviously take in his reaction to what he said and also take in why some Somebody may have said it to him, but hey, let's continue. Like, no, I'm usually joking about everything I say on here about 90% of the time. Now that for me personally, I find again, quite contradictive. I mean, okay, he says everything that he says on here. So what about the things that he says when he's on the show, whether it's pillar talk, whether it's the single life or whether it's any of any of the other shows he's been on. Are we now meant to believe that maybe when he says things, he just says it just for the sake of saying it and he doesn't actually mean it? And if that is the case, then that means I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was to turn around and say that, well, I guess the whole time you was trying to speak up against Usman, you was just saying it for the sake of it because the moment that you met Usman and he gave you the PS5, your whole demeanor changed just like that. So the whole time you were just basically faking it? it what's going on here? Make it make sense. But again, it depends on how you want to look at it. So please let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. And now let's move on to the last one. <laughs> just keep that. Sometimes when my mom raps, she accidentally said the N-word. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, listen, this one's a very interesting one because it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder when he said it. To begin with, his face was quite straightforward. And then his reaction after he said it felt as if he was like, oops, I think I just said a bit too much. And then and he was like, oh, I'm just kidding. And the reason why I go to the line of him saying, oops, I just said a bit too much is because in this live stream, right near the beginning when he spoke about how he wasn't going to address the situation with Tim and Veronica, he also expressed how he says too much and how he feels like he may get cancelled. And he also feels like maybe he might, you know, basically break contract. And that's something that I've noticed him say in some of his Instagram live streams. He always comes out sometimes by saying, I better be careful about what I say because I may get cancelled or I may get this or that. So the fact that he's always given us like a, uh, a warning, a warning, not, not even us, but I guess giving himself a warning to say, hey, I better be chill with what I say because sometimes I say things that I really shouldn't be saying it. Now, of course, Jamal can always be defensive and say that, well, he knows it's somebody that likes to joke a lot and that's why he says a lot of things and 
when he does that, it can easily get him in trouble, etc., 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 which can easily be the case. But this is the thing, though. Why would you want to joke about your mum potentially saying the N word? That's the, that is a very, very weird thing to bring up in a joking capacity. I mean, to be honest with you, it's something that if you're bringing up, you're probably bringing up because there's truth behind it. I mean, listen, all I know is this. The fact that he brought it up towards his mom feels very, very interesting, given the fact that we do know that she does only like, well, preferably likes the men of uh, melanin, if you dig what I'm saying. So who knows? Maybe she has slipped out the words every now and then because she's always around in the environment of always being around black men and whatnot. It is always a possibility. Whether or not she's wrong or right, <laughs> I'll leave that down up to you. But either way, though... Throwing your mom under the bus, <sighs> very unnecessary. But now your mom may just end up catching some strays because you opened your big mouth. And whether you was joking or not, hmm, I mean, I think a lot of people probably would think, nah, I don't think you're joking. But hey, like I said before, I'll let you guys do what you like with that information. Do you think that he was joking when he said his mom does say the N-word? Do you think at the same time he's 90% joking about half the things that he says? And also at the same time, you know, was he right to get all defensive about the link up between him and Chantel? Well, I'll leave that down to you guys to let me know in the comment section. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, help us get to that 50K. Oh, come on now. And also, of course, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like. No, I just said that, didn't I? Yeah, peace. <laughs> oh, oh.